welcome tonight. Um, I am going to share with you some of my favorite uh, Tupperware superheroes that are going to be in your kitchen. They're going to help you save time. How do you guys want a little bit more time, right? They're going to help you, ooh, spice up your meals, right, right? How many of you guys are like, uh, I don't like cooking. My food never tastes the same. I don't know. I don't like it, right? Let me give you some secrets tonight. Want to hear? I'm going to share about that. All right, so I'm going to start off with um, one of the superhero products that you are going to, it's going to be a must-have in your kitchen, all right? This is going to be like another kitchen appliance that's not going to take up space, okay? It is your multi-cooker. It does several different things. So it has lots of pieces and parts to it, but all contain very nicely, all right? So we have to search for one and store it all together, okay? So this right here, let me start with the comb, this right here. All right, I'm going to start with the base. The base right here is a pasta cooker. I'm telling you, I just, I did the, what did I make the other night? Oh, I don't know, the kid, nieces and nephews was over, and I'm like, I gotta do something real quick. So I, I actually put two pounds of pasta inside of here and had it out in about, you know, 15 minutes, okay? Because it took a little longer because there's two pounds in here. But this is your pasta maker right here, all right? So you can use it for that. Now, if you add on the tray, this white tray, and this vented seal, and now you have a rice cooker or any of your grains, your, your quinoa, your brown rice, your, your regular rice. Anyway, it's a rice maker. Perfect every time. And yes, I know you can stand on the stove top and you can mix and wait there and mix and, or you don't mix, right? I don't remember what, how you do it. Even the same thing with quinoa, but I would rather not be a slave to my stove. I would rather put it in the microwave let it make it perfectly for me, walk away, go do whatever I need to do, play with the kids or whatever you want to do, check your Facebook messages, all that kind of stuff, and the microwave will turn off. I don't have to worry about it burning all that kind of stuff. So I absolutely love the, um, the grain and the pasta maker of this multi-cooker, okay? By the way, when you're doing your grains, that starchy stuff uh, will come up and get stuck in the tray here and not go back down into your rice so you won't have as much starch in there, okay? So there's your rice maker and your grain maker and your pasta maker. Now, one of, my, <laughs> one of the best parts you're going to love about this is this is actually the steamer, the steamer, colander, and cover, okay? What this does now will steam vegetables, will steam your meats. You can actually hard boil eggs in here and this if you want to, you can also make something sweet. Okay, so we won't leave the sweets out. You can do it all with the multi-cooker. So uh, what we're gonna do tonight is a chicken fajita. And I started off with uh, half, I think it's a half cup of rice. Yeah, half cup of rice already down the side of there. I already added like a teaspoon or whatever of salt. Okay, and I like to use pink Himalayan salt because um, it's much better if you have blood pressure, high blood pressure, okay? And so I'm gonna start it off in the, um, in the microwave. Oh, gotta add some water to that. Okay, so I'm gonna add, uh, I even made this big print and think I could read it. <laughs> yeah, some water. We're going to add water. I already pre-measured it, so the water's already measured. All right. So the way you use this as a steamer, sorry, let me back up for a second, is this colander is actually metal. It's a little bit heavier. When you pick it up, you think, oh, it's a bowl. It's not a Tupperware bowl. It's actually metal, and it is, um, it, you know, it's got plastic all around it, so no, it's not going to catch on fire, okay? It also has a tray. So for my chicken fajitas, we're going to do peppers and onions here. So I already got that started for us. So I'm going to have the chicken on the bottom. I'm going to have my veggie right here. And the cover is also metal. So when you put this together, this right here is sealed and microwaves cannot penetrate through the metal. What's going to happen is you're going to put water in the base. Tonight I'm going to have rice. So I'm going to cook rice with the chicken and the peppers, all right? And what's going to happen is the water is going to boil and the steam is the only thing cooking your meats cooking your vegetables, they're going to keep them vibrant, they're going to keep them colorful, they're going to keep all the vitamins and nutrients in there because you're not boiling them away in the water. It's one of the healthiest ways for you to cook and eat, okay? Actually, you featured on Dr. Oz. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start the rice, all right? So, we are going to add the insert, all right? We're making the rice. We're going to line up the handles, all right? And we're going to seal this on there. Okay, because when this is done, you're going to squeeze the handles and it's going to pop right off. If you don't line up the handles, you're going to have a little difficult time. <laughs> right? So I'm going to put this in the microwave for just five minutes to start the rice um, cooking, all right? And then we're going to add the rest. So five minutes, and we can start, all right? So I have to share with you, I honestly, I come from an Italian family, and I started my Tupperware business because... I um, was an engineer and I loved what I did. I'm getting some more of my veggies ready while we're getting, uh, we're going to be doing this. 
Um, but I did not have the flexibility. I worked in corporate America, but I did not have the freedom that I wanted to live the lifestyle that I wanted. I wanted to take my kids to school. I wanted to be there for those important moments. I didn't want to be stuck in rush hour traffic. I heard somebody talking today about rush hour traffic. Um, I didn't want to do that every day, okay? And so I stopped and I started this Tupperware thing. Now, I want to share with you, oh, by the way, this is our master system right here. You're gonna love this too. And this is another one of our superhero products. And I can't share everything tonight. So if you want to have a steaming up party, we just make something in our, in our I call it the steamer. Okay, that's the steaming part. Or we can have a spice up party. I'm gonna share about our spices here in a second. But I'm taking our, our wide blade here, our spiralizer. And guys, this is the best way to cut an onions. I don't know about you. If you want to stand there, put your onions and cry and slice through it, go right ahead. But this is so much more fun. And if you've got kids, this is this is great for them to be part of the cooking experience. And I'm telling you, they're gonna have these moments to remember. Do you not remember in the kitchen with your mom making cookies or bacon? And they always want to help them so easy and safe for them to twirl the handle as you're cutting the onions. Look at my onions, already done in like seconds, okay? Without crying. Um, so I'm gonna move this over here. And so we're gonna add some onions. I'm not gonna add all of that, but we're gonna add some of these onions for this. I think a lot. And the magic of TV, and now I don't have what I want. Where are my tongs? I love these tongs from Tupperware, by the way. I can find the other half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, oh yes, I got it. I got it. I love these tongs because they snap apart. Because they don't. Do you ever have tongs and they get stuck in your kitchen? I mean, in the door. And then you open the door and those tongs go flying, and now you have broken tongs. Guess what? They come apart on purpose, and you don't have to worry about that anymore. So, fajitas. If you want to make this more colorful, little tip for you: more colors, more nutrients. The yellows, the, the green, the red, um, the orange colors. The more colors you have in your meals, the more vitamins and nutrients you have, all right? So a little tip for you. So a little bit of onion there. Red onions are pretty common, so you don't really need a whole lot. And I've already taken my chicken right here. Now, um, I'm kind of lazy, so I like to buy the chicken tenders already cut up and sliced for me. <laughs> you can buy chicken breasts, you can buy chicken thighs, whatever you like. I like to slice them up more of a tender size. So, Pretend this is our, our marinade, um, our season serve container. It's actually got little grizz on the top and the bottom so that so the juice is marinated. So I want to marinate this ahead of time. Usually about 30 minutes is good. Even overnight's okay too. So I'm gonna take, and if you look at this right here, there's holes in the bottom, so that's where the steam is gonna come through, all right? So I'm gonna just take this about a pound of chicken right here, okay? And we're just gonna put that to the side again. All I do is add some spice to this. That's another tip to really good cooking. If you want people saying, oh my goodness, that Amy, she's a really good cook. We got hosts here tonight. You know why? Because she adds spice to her to her dishes, all right? It is actually gonna spice up your meals and your girlfriends are gonna be like, huh? All right, that's your real tip. So this is where you could go when my rice comes out. So speaking of rices, <laughs> right, by the way, our multi cooker right now is on sale, okay? so. Give your girlfriend a call, and if it's not on sale, get it, be a hostess, because you can earn it half price or even free, all right? So that's happening with our multi-cooker right there. And to stay organized in the kitchen, we have uh, our modulate system, and to complement the modulate system is our spice center right here. I call it the spice center, okay? You can have multiple of these, because you probably, you, you need a lot, of, you can have more than one of these. And what I love is, it takes a very little space. If you come to my house, you'll see there's that, there's that little um, cabinet above your refrigerator, <laughs> okay? Like, what do you do with it? This big, whatever? Perfect for your spices, right up there, okay? Little tiny cabinet this big? Look at this, I can find 16 spices in no time at Twirls. Trust me, they'll fit in your standard American pantry, okay? Trust me, it'll fit, it'll fit in there. Um, and instead of, how many of you guys do this? You go dig into your drawers, right? Where are they, where are they, where are they, right? You got spices all over the place, or they're behind each other on their shelves. Right here, I can quickly find 16 different spices at my fingertips, just by twirling it. It's just fun to twirl, I'm twirl it, it's fun. <laughs> all right, so a little tip about spices. Your spices, actually I have lots of tips about spices, but your spices are the most expensive product in your kitchen, okay? It's more than gold and more than gasoline, all right? How much does that little ounce cost you when you go to the grocery store? Five, six, seven, eight dollars, all right? So I've got this going on, so we're gonna have a little intermission right here. We're gonna take the rice. I've already got my chicken prepped, and my veggies ready to go. 
I just want to add some more seasonings to this. Welcome. I'm just gonna make it really simple here today. All right. So you're gonna take the insert, the rice insert. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see. There's some of that gooey stuff up there already. Already. Okay. Now we're gonna add the chicken and the um, the veggies, and then we'll put it back in the microwave for about 15, 16 minutes. Okay. All right. So 16. Oops, I can't count. Oh. Now my girlfriend, she rocks a mean potato salad in there. And when she does the potato salad, she actually puts the eggs, the raw egg with the shell in the center of the potatoes. And when it comes out, she's got the hard boiled egg and the potatoes already done. It's crazy awesome. If you want to have a potato party, just come on, just come. We'll have potato parties with you, Nikki. <laughs> you like potatoes? I love potatoes. Anyway, where was I? Oh, it's my most expensive thing in your pantry, okay? So you need to keep them very, very fresh. Now you can call where, whoever you get your, your spices from, and when you twist off that little cap, it, they'll tell you it'll stay fresh about three to six months. Three to six months because air can get through those little threads right there. In our Tupperware, your spices can stay fresh, not months, but years, truly years. My spices have been put together here, it's my display, for about, I'm like, how about five years now, I've kind of lost track, but at least five years, all right? Now this right here is ground um, clover, okay? Clover. Mm. Does this smell like ground clover? Clove? Clove, yeah, clove, clover, clove, whatever, cloves. <laughs> Added a little extra R. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that smell like cloves? Five years old, right? Five years old smells still. Oh, it's good. Good, all right? Cinnamon, okay, if you open up your jar of spices and you don't have the aromas, guess what? You also don't have all the health benefits. Just a couple health benefits for you, really quick. Um, of course, you guys all know cinnamon. Cinnamon's good for lowering your blood sugar levels, okay? Absolutely, wonderful for that. Sage is really good for memory, improving brain memory, okay? So anyone with, you know, I'll, I gotta add some sage. <laughs> all right, um, turmeric, great for anti-inflammatory. Your cayenne pepper, ooh, it reduces your appetite, okay? Reduces your appetite and helps you, um, um, <laughs> it also helps you fight cancer besides, you know, another side benefit. Um, ginger is great for nausea and also anti-inflammatory. Rosemary is really good for allergies and nasal congestion. Um, garlic is really good for combating sicknesses and um, your health, your heart. Just as a couple of the health benefits of your spices, not only do they make your food, your dishes taste better, they got lots of health benefits. And don't eat my husband's eyes. Oh, garlic's good for you and he pours like the entire container. No. Just a little bit goes a long way in your spices. You want to enhance the flavors of your dishes, not overpower them, okay? All right, so back to the Tupperware Spice Carousel. This is not out on time. If you want the Spice Carousel, you need to get in on it now, all right? It's a limited time um, offer right here, and uh, we always have large spice shakers. There's two different sizes, the large and the small. The small ones will hold four ounces, and then your large ones will hold um, eight ounces, okay? Now there's two sides to your spice shaker. Be a little careful, I'm a little anal about this. I put my labels on the side that sprinkles, because there's a side that sprinkles, and there's the side you can pour and get a teaspoon in here. And I love our Tupperware measuring uh, teaspoon right here, because I can take this and level it right off, and I have my perfect teaspoon, okay? So when it's really early in the morning, so like I kind of know when I grab my spices, the labels in the front, and I know this is my, my sprinkling side. If someone flips that cap on me, I'm not happy. <laughs> you can imagine, and I have stories. We'll talk about those later, all right? And so second thing is, make sure you label your spices. They honestly will all look alike after a while. Your parsley, your, your basil, your oregano, I mean, it all starts looking alike, all right? All your different your spice blends, all right? So I use a label maker. And I, I label them. You can get, I hear uh, from Amazon, they've got pre-printed uh, spice labels that are small that you can use. You can make your own, whatever you want, but whatever you do, make sure you label your spices, okay? Now, the, you can actually double these up if you want. You can actually put two of uh, these on top of each other, top and bottom, all right? So right now we have the small and we have the carousel in your uh, catalog, in your sales file, okay? Now, spices are great. We're gonna keep, gonna, you got some tips from that, right? Keeping them fresh for years, but I don't know about you guys, it's 
lots of sharp objects in your kitchen, right? And usually when I slice my finger or cut myself or something, it's usually in the kitchen because that's where I'm at 90% of the time, all right? Um, and then I have to go traipsing through the house to find where the band-aids are, right? And they're usually in the bathroom, which is somewhere else, right? Now you've got this trail or you've got to, you know, you've got whatever. Anyway, guess what? Our spices make great band-aid containers, all right? It looks like a band-aid too, right? Cliche. No, the band-aid box is always broken anyway. So you can keep your spices right there in the kitchen with you so you don't get hurt. Now, other places you can use your kitchen if you have little children and you always want to have like a little activity for them. Crayola makes really, really good crayons, but their box, not so good, all right? Their boxes are always breaking. you got crayons all over the place. This is a great little uh, crayon box, all right? So you can take these ones with you in the car, you can go to Sunday church, you can stop them in your purse, and then you've got your little crayon. Do you ever have this happen? Melted crayons all over your car seat, <laughs> okay? At least they'll melt inside the container, not all over your car seat. So crayons are fun, they'll just pop right out, okay? So I love that too. And let's not forget, how many guys have little girls? Little girls, and they've got what? All those little beads and crafts. These are great for your beads and crafts containers too, perfect for that. All right, I guess little boys can have beads and crafts they need too, right? <laughs> you have the little tiny Legos, perfect on the side of here. All right, so you can use that. And you can quickly see if you have spices and you quickly make your shopping list if you need to refill them, okay? Um, I feel like there's something else I want to share with you, but I can't think of it right now. So this entire spice carousel is going to save you money. Buy your spices in bulk. Buy your spices in bulk. I have done a little price comparison. I priced out at a regular grocery store, not a fancy dancy store, but a regular grocery store. I won't say which one. And then I priced out the exact same spices at a bulk food store. Okay, you can find bulk food spices online. You can find them in ethnic, um, ethnic um, grocery stores have lots of spices in bulk, okay? And so to fill up 16 spices on my carousel, let's just go with all the same size. So I, I did apples to apples. And I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not talking about crazy spices you're gonna use once in your lifetime, all right? <laughs> By the way, how many of you guys got married and you're gonna try this new recipe and it called for this crazy spice and you bought it? And maybe you've been married 5, 10, 20 years and you still have that crazy spice. Do you think it's still fresh? No. <laughs> okay? If you rub the spices in your hands and they don't have that wonderful aroma, guess what? They're not fresh anymore. Oh. Way back to the spice comparison. Because this is crazy. You're not going to believe it. All spice, basil, bay leaves, black pepper. This is what I priced out. Cayenne pepper, celery salt, chili powder, cinnamon, clover. Cloves. Cl okay. Well, this says clover on my paper here. A cloves. <laughs> Crushed red pepper, cumin, dill wheat, ginger, nutmeg, oregano, paprika, rosemary, thyme. So nothing crazy, right? All right. Anyway, at the grocery store, to fill up 16 one cup, eight ounce containers, okay, would have cost me $742. Okay, great, right? At the bulk food store, the exact same spices, the exact same measurements, not 742, not 642, not 542, not 442 or 342 or 242. How about $122? That's a $620 markup. $620. You guys figure out the percentage because I can't, my brain can't figure it out, okay? Crazy, 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 crazy. You want to save money, you need to buy your spices in bulk. You need to keep them fresh in that Tupperware of spice containers, okay? and use them sparingly at, in your recipes and you are gonna have some spicy meals, okay? So you wanna get them right while they're hot.